Hello everyone. It's good to have you tuned in again. Yeah, I hope everything so far has been well. And even if it's not well, I, I pray that you will recognize the, the God's sovereignty and uh, what He has in stock for you, even in this uh, adversity also. So, fret not. If you need someone to talk to, you can always uh, find the AIA staff yeah, or, or even mock. Uh, I mean, if you don't mind. Yeah. So, okay, let's get started. So, Mok, what do we have today? Fantastic, guys. I mean, so for the last few days, uh, we've really been talking about the word, right? So, you may be wondering, how it's so important about the word? Well, so today, we're going to uh, try to unpack that. We're going to the Bible again in Romans 12, all right? If you look at Romans 12, 2, uh, it says here, Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that by testing, you may discern what is the will of God, what is good, acceptable, and perfect. So there are two things here. Number one, uh, Paul is writing to us to remind us not to be conformed to this world. Well, if we do not realize yet, the world's idea, the essence of ideology and all this are really opposed to the Bible. Right? A world are uh, even as the sea games. You know, we know sea games, even though it's a great gift from God, but we know what men do is that they corrupt the gifts, right? So that's why we will find that at the sea games, there is a lot of exaltation of the self, right? Achievements becomes all about the self, all about the person's hard work, and so on. And nothing is attributed to God. So, now, if you go to the sea games, without looking at it through God's perspective, you may come to the world thing know that everything, that every success is due to man's hard work alone. Right? And that's where we can be slept slowly be conformed to the world. And that's why scripture warns us that we need to be transformed by the renewal of the mind. And how can we renew the mind? It's really only through God's word, right? There's no way we can sit there in the corner and suddenly realize that, wow, thank God that people can run so fast, you know. No, no, really, right? You need to be exposed to God's word for God to tell us that Everything is a gift, and for God's word to point us to the giver. So, that is why it is so crucial for us to spend time in God's word. Right? What do you think, brother? Yeah, I think th that is for sure. I, I think this this verse has been uh, known to me even when I was a very young Christian. Yeah, and I think there was one podcast, I think just one uh, previous podcast, we talked about putting off and putting on. I think one way to put on, right, and knowing how to put on is definitely through uh, renewing our minds and being transformed by the the word, uh, the word of God. Yeah, so definitely. And I, I think there's one passage uh, in the Bible also says that actually the word of God, the teachers, rebuke, and it's like a double-edged sword uh, that can pierce and separate the bone and the marrow. Yeah, it's so so sharp, right? Yeah, and the function that, that's the function of the God's word as well. Yeah, and yeah, for sure. I think that's why we also want to. Uh, I mean, I don't I don't know about your your church or your community, spiritual community, but one one of the thing that commonly was shared to me is to memorize uh, scripture. Yeah, try to memorize scripture, right? And I think that really helps me as well. Yeah, until now, uh, to my amazement, I still remember my first ever verse that I remember. Can you believe it? And it's actually yeah, Genesis, it's one, Genesis 127. So God created man in his own image. In the image created he him. Male and female created he them. And this is King James Version. I was, I mean, and I can only memorize in King's Jeremy version. That was my first verse. And tells me about, I made in his image. That's really crazy, right? I mean, that was like almost 20 years ago when I was 12, 13, then yeah, 12 December, like, Christmas. And then January, probably I was like tasked to memorize this until now. Yeah, I, I can still remember. And it has been helpful, right? Uh, what about you? Anything to add on? <laughs> voilà, emoji, funny, sir. Fantastic, man. Yeah, fantastic. So, I agree, man. In fact, the next part in the verse, verse 2 also says, right, that by testing that you may discern what is the will of God. 
hopefully, right, if you do not have a ruler to measure against whatever is said or whatever we hear, how do we know what is being said or what we hear is a way of God? Only if we have that fully form in our mind through the renewal of the mind through God's work, right? So, yeah, I guess in our athletic uh, journey in this life, right, we really want to be conformed to God's word and God's way of doing things when we engage in this sport. Because this sport is a gift from God. Right? So, the only way to do that is I abide in God's word. So, yeah. So, but why do you quote us in prayer and pray that uh, to all, all of us, you know, including our athletes, right, be more and more um, transformed by the renewal of the mind. Sure, let's pray. God, thank you so much for giving us your word. And Lord, today we are privileged uh, to have a Bible anytime, even in our phone. Yeah, so we are so thankful uh, for technology that we can access to a word anytime uh, and anywhere. So I pray for uh, myself, Mark, and the rest of our brothers and sisters who are tuning in. And God, indeed, we will not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the re- renewal of the mind. And I pray uh, that Lord, they will, each of us will one day uh, decide to embark into this spiritual adventure in diving deep in your, into your word. And I pray, Lord, you encourage them in their heart. As they do that, they will find so much treasure as they dig deeper and deeper in, into your word as well. So thank you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.